5200 block of East Sahara, which is a trailer park in the area of Sahara and Sloan. The details that I'm sharing right now are very preliminary, but at around 4.30 this afternoon, Clark County Fire responded to the trailer directly behind me on report of a full structure fire. When they responded, they found the body of what we believe to, well, a human body was found inside the back trailer. And we also have recovered three bodies of a believed to be do dogs that are the family pets. At this point, what we have learned is that there was this morning at around seven o'clock, there was a domestic disturbance that took place at the trailer. Patrol officers responded and settled that domestic disturbance at scene due to the fact it was determined to be a property dispute. This afternoon, several hours after that is when the structure fire took place. I'm being very vague on some of the details that were shared with me through speaking with the arson investigators, but after speaking with them in the conversation that we had, uh, we have now taken over as far as a death investigation working with Clark County Fire as we do on most fire deaths. So again, we are still trying to determine what led up to the fire. It's gonna be several hours before we're able to uh, process the crime scene and have more information for you. What we do know is at this point, there's one person who is still outstanding who we believe was involved in the earlier domestic disturbance. So again, I'll keep it vague. Uh, I'll answer a couple questions if you have them, but I don't know uh, how much more I can get into. Was the body recovered inside the trailer or outside? The body is inside the trailer. And again, we believe, well, you we know it's an, uh, a human. We believe it's going to be a female, but again, that's still early on and we can't confirm that at this point. Who lived in the trailer? The there, family or? Yeah. There's several people that lived in the trailer. That's what we're still in the process of trying to determine the actual residents that lived in the trailer. Uh, but we do know from the prior call, we're able to determine that there were several people. We've identified those people, but there's still one person who is outstanding who was here this morning. Is it clear if the human died in the fire or prior to the fire? Uh, again, I don't know that right now. And it's, it's very uh, hard to process this crime scene due to the fact that Clark County Fire uh, tried used a lot of water and resources to put out the fire trying to save the structure so again there's a lot of debris and water inside the trailer so it's going to make it very difficult is it believed the person that died was involved in that domestic dispute at this point we believe the person that is uh, tentatively believed to be deceased inside there is involved in the earlier domestic but again it's still very early on in this investigation Uh, right now, we are trying to locate a male who we know was at the house this morning. But again, it's still uh, early on. We're still working through that. And as the night goes on and we have a little bit more details, I'll have more answers to that. Uh, I'm not getting any more specific on that. Have you got a witness uh, placing him back here eight hours later at 4 o'clock, 4.30 at a time? I'm being intentionally vague on some of those details. <laughs> what so. would be your message to um, uh, neighbors in the area that are kind of shaken up by this? Uh, you know, I, the neighbors did exactly what we would ask them to do if there was a, a fire. They called 911, fire department responded in an effort to save anyone's lives who were inside the trailer. I urge anybody who has any information to reach out to Crime Stoppers. That information is completely anonymous, or you can also reach out to Homicide at LVMPD. All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it.